Hi there again, welcome back to my channel for a new vlog. Uh, I just want to start out with being honest about how I'm doing and what my plans are. Um, I have to say it does get lonely still, but it's not uh, different than you would have a life when you live in a house and you're alone. I mean, being alone is being alone if you're in a house or a van still the same um, I guess sometimes it also is my own fault that I'm alone a lot of the time because that's uh, because I, I like to park stealth because that just saves me some money and when I park stealth I won't meet people so but anyway that's not a problem the people that I have met uh, up until now have made my journey so much more beautiful and I love meeting them and there are a lot of people that I have met that I haven't filmed I'm not filming everyone of course but yeah I've met s s some beautiful people um, I have been thinking about the future what how that looks like what I'm going to do I'm still not quite sure but I am thinking about going back to Holland for the time being. Um, I've been looking at some flights, uh, what they cost and when I should go, um, just to sort out some things that I need to sort out over there. I've been in contact with friends and family, uh, they're all willing to help me out and um, I can stay with several different people so that's not a problem um, even transportation will be arranged so that's not a problem either anyway uh, thank you all so much for your lovely comments for the support you're giving me the love you're sending me uh, it, it makes me feel so good so thanks I love you all you're beautiful well, let's start this vlog. I am in the beautiful Cape Hillsborough National Park and I'm going to take you around the different uh, places where you can stay overnight from the most cheapest place to the most expensive place and I'll let you see all of the things you can do around here. So let's get started. Good morning there. After leaving Platypus Bush Camp, I was actually going to go to another campsite, a free one that, that's located on a river, but I have read the, the reviews that the road in, it gets muddy after rain, and because it has had rain yesterday, I didn't really dare go there. It has rained last night, so I'm not sure if I'll stay there tonight or not. I'll just drive to the the road that leads in there and if it doesn't look good I'm not going I'll stay somewhere else <laughs> I just reached the turn off it doesn't look really bad so I might just do a little stretch of the road see how it looks further up if I don't trust it I'm just going to turn around and come back I don't know <laughs> The road isn't bad at all, it's a little corrugated, but nothing my van can't handle. I mean, Monty's doing really well. I haven't had any water crossing, so that's a good thing, because I think if I would... That was a grid. 
I think if there would be water crossings, that would be a total different story. I, I don't think I would drive through it. So, but I have, it's still two minutes to go, so a lot can change, but I think I'll get there. Google says you have arrived. Look at this. I like it. I like this place. It's beautiful. The colour of the water. I mean, the sun has come out. It's gorgeous. And the best part about it is that this river has crocs. I haven't seen any yet, but I have seen a lot of slides, croc slides on the other side on that bank. I have no idea what the best time of the day is to see crocs, but I have all day I have all the time in the world. I'm patient enough. So I think I might get my chair out and wait a while. I had no luck in seeing crocs. I'm a little bit disappointed. I have been here a few hours. I had my lunch. Nothing has happened. It's it's rained in the meantime, just a little bit, not too much. Not um, that much that it scares me off that I feel like I have to get out of here. Um, the high tide is coming up now, so maybe that will give me some more chance to see them. I'm not sure. I have looked up when the best time is to see them. It's at dusk and dawn, so I might just have to stick around and wait, but I don't know. I don't think this is the right spot to see them. I think I will just stay here for the night. I have only seen a few locals pass by, so it's pretty safe, I reckon. And it's really convenient because it's a 15 minute drive to where I want to be tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going to Cape Hillsborough National Park. I made it to Cape Hillsborough to the beach where the kangaroos come <laughs> they come here to feed on the, um, the seed pods that are washed up onto the beach and the seaweed so they come at sunrise the Sun has hasn't right rose the Sun <laughs> The sun isn't here yet, but it is light already, so I guess I'll have a good chance to see them if the other tourists don't chase them away, that is, because it's already very busy. I think I should have been here like 10 minutes or 15 minutes earlier, but we'll see. I, 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 my chances are pretty big. I, I will see some. People are already coming back from the beach. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? Don't know. Yeah, I do see some kangaroos on the beach. A few, not really many. Ah, oh, the weather is against me again today. But as someone said recently, the more you appreciate the sun again when it comes out,
was such a beautiful experience. I talked to the ranger for a while and he explained why they came to the beach and what they ate and why they feed them some extras. It's because the, the food that they find around here isn't really enough for them to keep them healthy. I think it's also for the tourists a little bit, but anyway, they take good care of them. They know their names, they know how old they are. Um, these two that I just filmed, they were rescued. He showed me photos and films of when they were little babies. They were rescued out of the pouch of the mother that was killed in, a, in an accident. So they're doing good work and I enjoyed it. But now I'm going back to the van and what I saw when I left isn't good. I have a leak or something, I don't know, something went wrong, but the floor is totally wet. So let's see what's going on there. Uh, I have no idea where this came from. Look, this is soaking wet. Soaking wet. It's dripping. See that? Why is it wet? I know where the leak is coming from. It isn't really a leak. It's just this. It came off in the fridge. The fridge. See all the water. It doesn't matter. I mean, I can dry it. At least I know there's no hose or anything that's leaking. It's just the bottle that was open. That's all. I just dried everything. The floor is dry. The cupboard is dry. The fridge is dry. Well, dry. I cleaned all the water out of that. I hang up my clothes to dry and now I was making the bed and I found that the mattress is wet again. The same place where it leaked a few weeks ago. Mattress is all wet. It's still leaking and I did have that fixed. You know the guy I met a few weeks ago, Jimmy, he put some I don't know what you call it. He put something around the window, but it didn't help. <clears throat> it's leaked, so now I have clothes drying over there. This is wet. I have my, my sheet in the front that's drying. Uh, who says fan life is only just romantic? It's not. Sometimes it's a pain. So this is Cape Hillsborough Nature Tourist Park. I just went in to ask the price for an unpowered site for two people for one night is $37. And I asked if you could just use the shower if you're not staying and they said no. Nope. So well it doesn't matter because I am not staying there anyway. I have something else booked for tonight. I'm going on a hike to Andrews Point Lookout and I have to uh, walk over the beach where the kangaroos were this morning. That's the starting point. Yeah, that's it. So, you can go via the beach when it's low tide and if it's high tide you go this way. Um, I think it's high tide so we'll go this way. It takes you past the campsite. I mean, could have just walked in the campsite, it's the same.
closed unfortunately um, due to wind and flooding so it's not safe to walk there so I'm not going to do it um, it's closed for a reason I guess so I'll just go back down have a nice stroll on the beach before I go to my beautiful campsite for tonight I'm at the mangrove boardwalk, the diversity uh, boardwalk. Um, they say it takes one hour. It's 12 o'clock now, so. Well indeed, it is an easy walk, but it didn't take me an hour. It only took me a half an hour and I think the reason why is because I'm really hungry. I just want to go and have my lunch. <laughs> arrived at my overnight spot for tonight it's called Smallies campground um, it's right on the beach and it's it looks amazing I saw photos on internet and it's normally fully booked months before um, because it's just a favorite spot people want to stay here it's a um, Queensland National Park uh, place um, it only costs seven dollars twenty-five to stay here. That's for one person, of course, and one vehicle. You can stay um, with eight people and two vehicles on one spot. I'm just going to walk in quickly to see if my spot is already, um, if it's cleared, if the people are gone, so I can drive in. Normally, you're allowed to go in from two o'clock. It's almost one. So I'm figuring what is one hour. One hour isn't much, is it? I just want to go in. First thing I'll be doing, now I have arrived in paradise, I'm going to put up my solar panels um, just to keep my battery topped up. So that's job number one. I just need to do one more thing before I can finally eat and that is fill in the camping tag and there's a little clip thing where you drive in where you can leave this so they can see that you have paid so I'm going to fill that in first I just hang the tag on the pole so that's all sorted and then I went over to meet the neighbors to say hello and I'm already invited to come and sit at their campfire tonight so that will be nice. Uh, I made myself my lunch. I'm having egg with avocado and I reckon it's going to be really yummy.
visitor in my campsite. Look at this. What a beautiful morning. When I woke up this morning, I opened the curtains and just watched the sunrise. I watched the water come up. Uh, it was low tide, water came up, now it's high tide. This place was amazing and to fall asleep with the sound of the ocean in the background is just lovely. But last night, something strange happened as I was on my way to the neighbors. Um, to have a oh, they invited me over to sit at their fire and they gave me <laughs> they gave me some wine and all that really lovely um, but as I was on my way over there a van pulled up because this is my whole site all of this a van pulled up and they parked over here um, they were in a pop top so the pop top went open um, lights went on so it looked like they were going to stay here the night um so i asked the neighbors I said should i go talk to them or what i waited a while and they didn't seem to come over or ask anything so i went over there and i said um hi may i ask what your plans are yeah we just arrived i said yeah i can see that but what are your plans um uh, why do you ask uh the guy said I said well this is my site I've booked this for tonight and this whole site has been paid for by me so I don't know what you want to do well he got angry and she got angry she didn't even say anything but I could tell on her the look on her face they pulled the pop top down and they drove straight out of here uh, I mean if they would just come over and ask me is it all right for me to stay here would have been totally fine with it but anyway they drove off i had a peaceful night <laughs> so this is the toilets they're pretty decent they're basic but they're pretty decent there's um, two of these basins I'm just going to brush my teeth before I leave because you have to leave here at at 11. It's 10.30 now, so I can't stay any longer. But it was a nice night and I really enjoy this place.
Another place to stay around the Cape Hillsborough um, National Park is at a place called Ball Bay. Uh, there's a campground there and they say it costs $15 for a night and it's right at the beach as well. I don't think it's as nice as this one at Smallies but we'll go and check that out now. I have arrived at the Ball Bay campground. It was just an 11 minute drive from the other campground where I was at. Uh, it does look good. It's a first come first served so if you're here too late and it's full um, you can't stay here. You can't make a booking so you just have to be here on time. I wasn't planning on staying here the night but the forecast for the next few days isn't really that good so that messes up my plans a little bit. So I will stay here today um, just have a relaxed day, read a book or something like that. Um, this is, this is it and it's right at the beach. Looks pretty nice, I might go for a walk after I've had my lunch. I was just talking to a lady about swimming here. There are people that do go in and she said well, aren't they worried about crocs? Um, I don't think there will be crocs here, but there are stingers and it's not really stinger season, but I'm not going in there anyway, no way. There's a place, uh, it's not far from here. I don't think it's even 10 minutes drive where they have the net where you can swim in safely. So I would go there definitely. Well, anyway, this place has showers, but they are cold. I haven't seen them yet, so I'm going to go check it out. I'm having one later on. It's been a while. So that's Ball Bay Beach. I walked from one end all the way to the other and back this morning. It took me, I think about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, something like that. But anyway, it's time to leave Ball Bay. Uh, normally they would come in the evening or um, late in the afternoon to collect the money, the $15 to stay there, but I think because it was raining so hard I didn't see anyone and it's 9 o'clock now, I haven't seen anyone this morning so I'm not going to hang around and wait until they come collect it, so I'm moving on. <laughs> 